Good morning, everyone. Well, it's happened again. Um, twice this year, we've had clients over contribute to either an RSP or a tax free savings account, and this instance, since the tax free savings account. So, the penalty for over contributing to your accounts are 1% per month. So, that equates to 12% per year, which is a huge huge penalty. The government imposes these penalties to make sure that people aren't over contributing to these uh, tax savings devices where RSPs save you money uh, by reducing your taxes. Your uh, tax free savings account saves you money by not taxing you on any money that's in those investment accounts. So if you over contribute to a, uh, a tax savings account um, the CRA is going to penalize you because you would, in their mind, already have to pay tax on that money. So they are taxing you. And in fact, they call the penalty a tax. Okay. In both cases, in my opinion, it is a shared responsibility between the taxpayer and the person that is actually contributing the uh, amount into the account. So in this, in both cases, it was the investment advisor. So uh, they dropped the ball there. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, that is not due diligence. Um, even even though ultimately the responsibility is on the taxpayer to understand where their balances are. Um, in my mind, a good investment advisor will definitely look into that. Um, I know good ones. I know people that that will actually go and and do the extra little bit of work to figure out what the balances are to make sure that their client isn't gonna pay extra. And if you want to know what your balance is, you can go to your uh, My CRA account and your balances will be on there. If they don't show up on there, which sometimes they don't, um, you can phone the CRA, 1-800-959-8281. Okay, that's the personal line. Um, and they will be able to tell you what your uh, current balances are. Now the tax free savings account, they're gonna be able to tell you what the balance was as of January 1st of the current year that you're in. Um, and then you have to adjust for what you've contributed so far that year. Another way to check it um, is to ask your accountant. Okay, so we have access to your CRA account um, if we have your authorization. And we also have access to that information. So and it's very quick. It takes less than a minute to, to get that information. And also your investment advisor, um, if they are aware um, and they're good at their job, then they will understand that they too can get authorization to your account to check those balances to make sure that you're not over contributing. And if you've over contributed, the I didn't know or I wasn't aware that I couldn't over contribute is not going to be enough to get those penalties and interests interest waived from the CRA, okay? Uh, the I don't know excuse doesn't work, unfortunately. So there's nothing we can do about that situation. You pay the tax, and in this case it was like six grand, um, which is awful. Um, anytime I see that, it makes me sick, even though I had we have nothing to do with it. Do your due diligence. Make sure that you're checking those balances. If you're investing and you're putting it all into a tax-free savings account, or your RSPs, make sure that you have room there, okay? Make sure you check it out. It is worth your money because you're likely not going to make 12% on your uh, investments that are over-contributed, okay? So I hope that helps. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Take care of your friends. And be well.